love lovers. Hi everyone. So today is another beautiful day here in Kuching in Sarawak and we're still here. We're still enjoying this beautiful city. Um, today as probably almost every single day we are working but only later this afternoon so we still got a very nice beautiful morning to do something that we love and to explore more of Kuching eat more in Kaching and eat more so we're actually heading over to a very famous cafe here actually made famous by the late chef Anthony Bourdain when he was there he tried the Sarawak laksa curry mm -hmm. which he has called the breakfast of the gods Ooh. so a very very strong statement mm -hmm. and when he made that statement everyone wanted to come to this particular cafe to try this laksa curry. The cafe that we're going to is called Chun Hui Cafe and that's exactly where Anthony Bretain has tried his laksa and that's exactly where we're going and it's only about 10 minutes away from us so we're just gonna take a nice stroll as it's still a beautiful day here in Kaching. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> so Hello. So this place is actually closed, only open for breakfast at like 7 a.m. So we are coming back tomorrow. I'm going to add the clips for this at the end of the video. Plan B. Plan B. Plan B. I think so. Yeah. Needles. Mmm. It's amazing. Such good service, yes. Uh, this is the chicken. Oh, I think that's your barbecue. Is the barbecue chicken? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. yours, Misha. Lovely, that thanks. Was thanks, guys. Splendid. Both of them coming over. How cute. Oh, so cute. Hey, guys, so as Misha mentioned, the place where we went to try the famous Sarawak Lapsa was closed because, as well, our lovely friend. Lukeman said that it's usually open in the morning, so we will have to come back tomorrow morning and try that. And hopefully, we can in include the footage on today's video. But yes, we have Lukeman here, which is a lovely viewer and friend actually right now. Uh, he's very, very cute, and he actually agreed to meet us for some lunch. That's why we're here hanging out together. And because the place was closed, he took us to this different place. Man. So we're just gonna have some food and now what did we ordered. Can you tell us what we ordered? Um, I ordered rice bowl, uh, rice chicken bowl? barbecue rice bowl. I think. Wow. Can you lift that a little bit for the camera? Good. Very good. That looks fantastic. That looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So what's mine? What's mine? What's yours? What's mine? <laughs> I've got some barbecue chicken and some noodles yes. and some other little, I don't know, like herbs and vegetables and, spices. and like bean sprouts as well. Yeah. We love you. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> we're waiting for our grab as well as we're just about to go and grab some coffee and do some work and write our Patreon postcards. <gasps> yes. So if you're not a patron guys make sure that you sign up so you can receive a beautiful postcard with bad handwriting <laughs> no i have a beautiful handwriting that is true mine's yeah. like a spider it's like <laughs> mine's really nice guys don't worry i'm writing all the postcards so you're <laughs> safe you're safe but what a good afternoon right very nice even though Sarak, uh, sarawak laksa did not turn out well um, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things here, you have to be a morning person mm -hmm. whilst you're in Kaching. Which we're not. <laughs> Which we're not, so tomorrow, but we'll tomorrow to we're up. definitely gonna go and try before 12, and we're definitely gonna include it with this video, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Time for coffee. <laughs> coming. Guys, we actually forgot to mention that Lukman gave us some presents. So his mom actually made some batik <laughs> which is basically a dessert um, that Malaysians have here and uh, it's really nice it's something that we tried already in Kota Baru which is similar to your Lithuanian which is similar snack. to my Lithuanian dessert and we call it Tinginis we're just gonna insert the picture now <laughs> but yeah we're so excited thank you so much Lukma Having a 
natural stroll through what's it called <laughs> india lane yeah where basically you can just buy loads of cheap clothes we're not really into shopping because we never can afford it we'd yeah. rather spend the money on airplane tickets yeah. and food so we just had a quick stroll down here bags are already so heavy it's true <laughs> what was your bag on 15 kilos wasn't 15 it? kilos right now mine was 13.5 i travel lighter yeah oh well, look at that mask looks like the palace from aladdin have you seen that film justina Ah, uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is he on a magic carpet? Yeah. Dessert, anyone? For that carrot cake. My mm. favourite. It's not your favourite. Your favourite is the cake batik. And carrot cake. <laughs> no, 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 no. You give no, this to me. No, that's not no you give this to me. <laughs> so right now we just came to a cafe called The Commons, and we just basically came to catch up with some admin work, um, to have some tea and some carrot cakes, and it's just a really really nice place to chill it's very good internet here that's actually one of the days when i had some classes here when i had to teach um super embarrassing mind you <laughs> i had to leave the table speak so loud but the like... thing is i don't usually do that because it's not common for me to teach in public because of the noise and i shouldn't be embarrassed but sometimes it's just so embarrassing i, I, I don't know maybe because i shout quite a lot yeah and i just like to express myself talk with my hands <laughs> and like just talk really loudly actually um, that's actually one of the disadvantages of my digital nomad job right yeah that I can kind of only work from a hotel room or an apartment or somewhere very close and quiet yes yeah. so whilst we're here we thought we'd just share some updates to our channel nothing too scary or big or bold but um, <laughs> Yeah, I think we mentioned somewhere in our comments or to a couple of you guys that we were planning on going to Indonesia at the end of this month, but we have decided not to go and it's not a bad thing. We just, as soon as we arrived to Kaching, we realized just how much we loved it and so much. And so, how much there is to see actually, because yeah. of course Borneo Island is so huge and we barely scratched the surface. Uh, since being here so we definitely want to explore more of Sarawak yeah. and more of Sabah and we're thinking that um, another two weeks is not gonna be enough for us so no. we're staying here <laughs> we are staying here but the thing is we actually have to do a visa run on uh, Saturday of this week so we're going to Singapore for one day one day only now I know it's kind of funny because we were actually in Johor Bahru like this close to Singapore like two weeks ago but we just didn't realize that we were at the time we didn't have the decision made that we're gonna stay in malaysia right no. we thought that okay maybe after uh sarawak we're gonna go to indonesia and, and that will be our visa new visa in indonesia right? yeah as long as you feel like excitement and happiness yeah, there's like, no point to just keep traveling no. to different countries for the sake of a number or we're not yeah. bored of Malaysia we're mm -hmm. every day so excited to explore new things uh, and it's just so easy to travel around like Malaysia is just literally the best guys I think Malaysia is our country it is our country like you know some um, travel vloggers they have Philippines they have for other countries they have Thailand you know Indonesia, and Indonesia. many people's country you know, yeah. so many people and in Bali our country is definitely Malaysia like I can yeah. put my hand to my heart it really is the mm. Bali stuff is very saturated mm -hmm. I think and yes we'd love to go there but I think we would go there when we have a bit more money as well don't you think so we can travel a bit off the grid go and do like island hopping but at the moment honestly like we have to work like you know five days a week six days a week so yeah please guys don't think that YouTube is our full-time job unfortunately it's not hopefully one day yeah. we can actually minimize our teaching hours our yeah. design hours and hopefully travel more and explore more and be concentrated be around more YouTube but unfortunately we still have to have to do what we have to do right now but it's okay it's okay it's, yes. okay. it's just the beginning mm -hmm. and um yeah that's a good point actually because a couple of you guys are saying oh you're not uh, filming so much these days and it makes me sad but 
we're just trying to put out a minimum of two videos every week which takes I think that's quite a lot anyway yeah, considering with what we do yeah I mean yeah it's not a full-time job at the moment we're just trying to find that really nice balance and we have a really nice balance here like we are so happy and there's no point in trying to rock the boat it's, yeah. it's great at the moment on Saturday we are going to Singapore for our visa run um, and then entering back into Johor Bahru and then back to Kuching and then slowly over the next uh, it's quite loud now mm. hopefully you can hear me but over the next um, month then of August we're going to slowly make our way across to Sabah and explore all of that area and uh, yeah we're just really looking forward to it like I feel so happy with that plan like yeah. when we said we're not going to Indonesia I kind of felt a bit like oh, really now we yeah. can relax and take our time and see things nicely and um, and I'm sure all of you guys um, love to hear that <laughs> yes you love having us here in Malaysia and we absolutely love your country so I think it works all around basically doesn't it it does yeah. and and also let's not forget we are actually going home at the end of September, early October. Still dates not confirmed. Don't worry, don't pull up your chair or anything. It's not forever. We're just going home to visit. My friend is getting married and I would love to go back to attend her wedding and I will, we will. And we need to see our family. It's been two whole years nearly that we haven't yeah. seen our brothers, our family, dad, everyone. When we home. say that to people, when we meet on our travels, they open their mouths wide open when we Georgia. tell them when we tell them that we haven't seen our family for almost two years so yeah. can you imagine guys uh, yeah. traveling for almost two years on not being able to hug your mom your dad your brother your sister yeah. so yeah that's exactly what we're doing not hugging them only talking them on Skype or Facebook Messenger yeah. but uh, this October we're gonna be reunited with them for about two months I would say yeah about two months and then we're coming back to Asia mm -hmm. and then uh, We'll see what happens from there. Maybe then we'll go to Indonesia, maybe we'll go to some other places, but yeah, we just thought we'd give a little update to our channel. Nothing too dramatic. It's actually kind of exciting because we get to stay in Malaysia. Yeah, yay, more nasi kandar for me. <laughs> <laughs> more, more everything for me, to be honest. Anything else to say? Any other updates? Hmm. Oh, and I know what I wanted to update. Just something that would benefit both of us. So you watching and us. Uh, we're gonna put down a code for booking.com. I've only just discovered it last week. There's actually a referral code that if you use our code, you get 15 pounds in your bank account and we get 15 pounds in our bank account, providing that you actually use the code and, and stay at this accommodation that you book. So mm -hmm. I think that's incredible. So if you are going on holiday or going anywhere, even locally, and you use booking.com, use the link down below mm -hmm. and you will get 15 pound off and we will also get a bonus for referring you so yeah. i just it thought i'd mention ways. that because uh, we actually did that to each other so i have my account justina signed up and she used my code and we both got 15 pound which is probably a bit naughty but shh, it's our little secret okay movie where is it uh strawberry with banana mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink that and um, then I think the next shot that you'll see us will be in around 16 hours where hopefully fingers crossed if we wake up early enough we'll be trying the laksa curry that's exactly why you probably all come onto this video to watch us eat the famous laksa curry it's so, coming just hold on tight hold on, hold on tight two seconds <laughs> two seconds Oh wow. Yeah. Hello. Oh look at the wow. Hello. Hello. Um what size is that? Small? Oh, yeah. yeah, can we get two small? Three. Two. Two please. Yeah, two? Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you very much. So as you know guys, or you may not know, but we are not morning people at all, but just looking at this dish is enough to wake us up because it looks absolutely incredible. I know we say this about a lot of things, but the presentation of this dish is superb. So we're yet to try it, um, but first Justina will tell you what's inside. So our curry laksa consists of vermicelli rice, shredded chicken, bean sprouts, prawns, 
fresh coriander, lime and sarawak paste. Now, I'm sure I missed something. What makes this sarawak laksa completely aromatic and different is its coconut milk. When we tried it in Penang, as mentioned earlier, we didn't like it because it was too fishy and it had some spice that we wouldn't really say agreed with us. But this is coconut milk and we love coconut milk curry, so... Yeah, um, so hopefully this one's gonna taste just the way we like it. Just looking at it, it looks really creamy, like it has coconut milk in. Kind of like, similar to like, um, like Thai red green curry. Yeah. That's yeah. how it looks like, and the chicken looks great. And I must say guys, the prawns look super fresh, like they've been caught literally this morning. So instead of us talking about Did it... Did I mention the line? <laughs> I'm joking, you know what I'm saying. To be honest, I think we need that in our eyes to wake us up because uh -huh. I'm still waking up. <laughs> so my first time trying Sarawak famous laksa and we are currently sat in the same place as where Anthony Bourdain was here. He say breakfast of the gods. Breakfast of the gods, so let's see if it's true. Mm. So that's automatically yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Nothing like the one that we had in Penang. Completely different. Really? You don't even have to think about it. It's straight away Get you out like of it. Your mind. Yeah, this is like, whoa, amazing. Sorry guys, I'm gonna use my fingers to <laughs> put this prawn into my mouth. <laughs> so what can you taste, would you say? Mm, wait a second. I can't talk, sorry. It's okay, go for it. <laughs> Looks like you're really enjoying that. You know what, I would also have six bowls. Six, so the, our grab driver said that Anthony Bourdain, when he was here, he had six bowls. I would have the same. You would? So good. Easily. I can taste, I can taste everything that is in the side bowl. Yeah, everything, like... Everything, noodles, coconut, breaded, chicken, prawns, bean sprouts. Really Oh, no. oh really great. Nice. All compliments each other, yeah? Yes. Right, so rating out of 10. 10. 10, yeah. really? Yeah. Mm. That's great. It's a little bit spicy. Can you taste it? Right, I'm going to use my hands like Justine as well. Mm. So good, isn't it? That's really, really easy to eat. Like no problems at all. Every single, every single ingredient is just so light and and just fresh and delicious. I have nothing bad to say. Yeah. Like the the prawn is such a a neutral flavour, which I think makes a difference to the Penang one because that was made with uh, sardines or I yeah. can't remember. Let me know what I'm missing, but it was a much stronger uh, taste and odor all around but this is like really nice really good i i love it so yes anthony bourdain was right he passed away last month but um his legacy his words he still lives on we ever had in our lives. Favorite dish? I've never had in Malaysia actually. Wow, favorite dish, not even laksa. No dish. One up there, top three. I can't give you the other two, but it's definitely up there. It was so good. I can't say it was my favorite dish, because my favorite has to be the burger that I had from Burger Lab. Oh yeah. Exactly, so it's not my favorite dish, but it's definitely my favorite laksa. It's like the best of the best, guys. Mwah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely breakfast of the gods, or in our cases, goddesses. For now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for recommending this place for us to come for the best Sarawak laks that we could ever imagine in our heads. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give us a comment down below, letting us know what is your favorite laksa, because we know that every single state in Malaysia offers different laksa. So yeah, make sure to let us know, and maybe we'll check them out as well if we do go to those states. Although there, there isn't that many left anyway. No? <laughs> no. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, cheers to freedom. Woo!